Hey guys, before we get started on this jailbreak, here are some guidelines for the 3.1.3 jailbreak. You will need to, it will only work for the iPod Touch first generation, non-MC model second generation, iPhone 2G, which is the first generation iPhone, iPhone 3G. It will not work new MC model iPod Touches, which is the third generation, and maybe some new iPod Touch um, second generation. It will not work with any model of the iPhone 3GS. Do not attempt this jailbreak. If you rely on unlock for your iPhone 3G, it will not. No unlock will work for your iPhone 3G if you attempt this jailbreak. So just turn away and don't even use this jailbreak. Your computer will need to be connected to the internet, and please know what you're doing while you're doing this. Thanks. Okay, first let's get to the downloads. You guys are going to need to download Red Snow for your device. Um, links in the description for what Red Snow version you will use for your device. I will have them. Um, detailed on each one you want to download. You also need to download the 3.1.2 iPhone OS from the link in the description that it says iPhone operating system uh, firmwares. You'll download it from there. Choose the 3.1.2, not the 3.1.3. And once you got those two things downloaded, let's get started. If you want to see if your device is an MC model, what you're going to need to do is go into the settings application, then click on general, and then click about. Now, right where it says model, you'll see MC or MB or MA. If you have an MC in the beginning, you're an MC model, and this jailbreak will not work for you. Um, you usually probably have bought your iPhone or iPod Touch after the date of October um, 15th, uh, 2009. So that's how you find it. Um, I'm going to be doing this jailbreak on the 3.1.3, so let's get back into it. Okay, so once everything's downloaded, you have the 3.1.2 um, IPSW downloaded, not the 3.1.3, but the 3.1.2 um, firmware downloaded, and the Red Snow version for your device. Um, there will be two versions in the description. One will be for the iPod Touch 1G, iPhone 2G, and iPhone 3G. Um, this version I'm using is just for the iPod Touch second generation non-MC model. Um, and this will jailbreak the 3.1.3. So first you're going to meet, make sure that you've updated in iTunes to the 3.1.3 um, just by clicking the little update button and it will download and update. So just make sure it's updated on the 3.1.3 and let's get started. So you're going to want to open the Red Snow application. This is, I'm showing this on a Mac but it won't make any difference. It will be almost exactly the same on a PC. Um, so I'm going to open up the Red Snow application and you'll get this little prompt. Um, it says to find the current IPSW that you have it running on, which is the 3.3, but you're not going to do this. Do not listen to what it says. This hasn't been updated at all. You're going to want to browse for that IPSW that we downloaded for the 3.1.2, and you're just going to open it, and it will process the firmware. Now, you'll get this little um, prompt saying if you're an MC model, like I showed the video earlier of me showing you how to see if you're an MC model, you're just going to click no or yes. If you have an MC model, don't even attempt it. Just don't even start with it. So I'm going to click no because this, this is an MB model. Okay, so I'm going to click next. Your um, computer will need to be connected to the internet as I mentioned in the guidelines in the beginning. Ask for you depending on your internet connection. So you get these options. These you can play around with. Um, for boast mode, I'm going to show that to you guys. Um, it pretty much just shows the processes when you boot up. I'm going to check that one. Um, and I'm going to click install Cydia. And when you click next, it's going to ask you to shut your device off. Okay guys, so you're going to need to shut your device off. Um, make sure it's plugged into your computer and shut it off. So I'm going to hold the home button, a uh, power button, and shut it off. Okay. So once your iPhone or iPod Touch shuts off, um, you're going to click next. But before you do that, I'm going to give you a heads up. Before you click next, it's going to ask you to hold the home button, the power button, for three seconds. And then it's going to ask you to hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds and then release off the power button and just hold the home button for like 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to click next and I'm going to hold the power button for 3 seconds and then switch really quickly to the home and power button for 10 seconds. It will also tell you what to do, but just giving you guys a heads up. So I'm going to click next and it's going to hold for 3 seconds and then hold the home and the power button for 3 seconds. 10 seconds, sorry. Now my boot up looks like verbose mode because I've pwned this already. 
and then just hold the home button for like as much as it says in town countdown. So once you see the white flashing screen twice, the second time you can release. Now you see it the first time, keep holding it, and then the second time release, and then let it do its jailbreak stuff. And you'll get this little download jailbreaking data um, icon that shows ex um, internal hard drive with a little down arrow. And like I said before, your computer needs to be connected to the internet. And I want to thank the dev team for making this jailbreak, uh, especially Muscle Nerd. His Twitter will be in the description. This was not made by the same um, iPhone hacker who made Black Rain, which was GeoHot, which he was awesome, but he did not make this jailbreak. And once this reboots, you'll get to see verbose mode, which I selected. It will pretty much show the processes of it each um, boot up command when your device is booting up. So let's let it boot up. Reboot. Now you guys can close and just click finish on the Red Snow application on your computer. Doesn't really matter. Oh look, and there's the little pineapple if you can see that, guys. That's the little pineapple. Once I will come back once that's already finished. Okay guys, so it's almost done. It's syncing file systems. And once that happens, it's going to reboot and show you verbose mode, yes. Okay, so it's going to boot up with the Apple logo first, and then it will go to verbose mode, and it will show all the processes. I like this little feature, but some people might find this kind of stupid, but this is a cool thing to show off to your friends. And once it finishes verbose mode, it will always say at the bottom, system shut down, false. Which, as you know, if that said true, it would shut down. It's a bully in there. If you know what that means. Okay guys, so when I slide to unlock, and there is Cydia. Okay guys, there's a 3.1.3 jailbreak I will show you quickly. 3.1.3 right there. Okay guys, so that is a 3.1.3 jailbreak for the iPod Touch first generation, and not MC model second generation, iPhone first generation and iPhone second generation. As I mentioned before, do not attempt this jailbreak if you rely on unlock for your iPhone 2G or iPhone 3G. None unlock, no unlocks as this moment work for the 3.1.3. And guys, make sure to check out iPhone Help Support for more tips and jailbreak, guys. If you guys have any questions, comment below or post in our forum at forum.iphonehelpsupport.com. See you guys later. Peace.